nice little drive over the Hoover Dam. Love to do some of the tours, but unfortunately the power plant tour is still not available. I was actually on the boat once right to that line, as far as you can go. Water levels are really low, unfortunately. It is such an impressive building. Also the bridge. When you drive over it, you can barely see anything because they have the wind barriers left and right. So it's really hard to see either the dam or any of its surroundings. I hope you enjoyed this. Next destination is Phoenix. actually one of my favorite parts about this lifestyle. Those long stretched highways. You know my mom she's always super worried about me driving. And we obviously talk every day. I tell her there's nothing to worry about. It's like so relaxed when you drive here on the highways. Sure you gotta be careful and you never know. But you know going 65 turn the cruise control on and just keep going and super calm, super relaxed, enjoying the view and my thoughts, you know, think about what to do next and everything. As soon as I feel I want to take a break, I just stop somewhere along the way. And I'm also a super careful driver. I stay behind on the right lane. You know, this is my home. So obviously if something happens to it. I have a serious problem. After having it done for a while, you know, you're going to get to your destination. It doesn't matter if it's 30 minutes later or not. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. Finally made it here. About 10 minutes to get to my camp spot, which this time is not going to be out somewhere in the desert, even though there is some really nice camping out this way that I've stayed in the past. I will stay in someone's driveway that I contacted through a really cool website called Boondockers Welcome. It's almost like an Airbnb for campers and People offer their driveways or some place in their backyard or if they have a farm somewhere around there. And usually there are some sort of nomad themselves. And just nice people just want to be kind and help out. And the camping is usually for free. 
There is a small membership that you pay through the website to be able to communicate with each other, but it's super reasonable, like $50 a year. And the reason I'm gonna do this for the next two, three days while I'm here in town is I need a hookup because my batteries are about to die. They are like four years old now. I use them quite intensively and it's time to replace them. I'm looking into a couple of brands for lithium batteries this time. So I'm gonna order soon, have them shipped to Vegas to my winter camp driveway that I can use anytime. And also where I actually built my van. Beside that, I have some leftover parts there, plywood and some wood beams in case I have to rebuild the battery boxes to secure the new batteries. And of course, if any parts are missing, which definitely I have to order a DC to DC charger to hook the batteries up to my alternator. Lithium, that's a little bit different. You can't just not connect the alternator directly. It's gonna actually fry it eventually, as far as I know. And I made it to my camp spot. Nice host, as expected, it's always nice people. I have a power hookup, that's perfect, so I can work on my film tonight. And I'm gonna prep some dinner, van life style, and that is, as usual, Good old van life tortillas with some impossible burger meat. Now I'm not vegan. I just like to cut down on meat a little bit more. Then we have baby spinach, plenty of hot sauce. Not going to kill the bottle tonight. And some Gouda cheese. And that should do. And that's how we do it every day the same good morning everyone it is six o'clock we're shortly after here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm actually still an hour early because I'm in Pacific Standard Time, just coming from Vegas. And I worked late last night working on a movie score and I also slept terrible because I'm so way excited to take you to a really phenomenal place today here in town. Before I reveal where we're going to, let's have breakfast for champions. Sort of. Not really. No. Well, well, thank you so much for being awesome again and watching this video all the way to the end. The word of the day is Arizona, so please leave that in the comment section, and I see you in the next video. Bye.